Hello, Peso Point Pips. So I'm back and I'm going to discuss about mutual funds. So, so stay tuned until the last of this video because I know you will be a lot more smarter when you finish this video because I will be discussing about what is mutual funds, what are the types of mutual funds, how will you know which type of mutual fund is the best for you, and the pros and cons of investing in mutual funds only by yours truly i am claire bernadette gonzalez your financial advisor with a heart so peso point pips what is mutual funds Mutual fund is a company that pulls money together from different investors and then they invest it in various types of assets depending on the goals of the funds. So mga kababayan, ito lamang ay mga kinolektang pera mula sa iba't ibang tao para ilagay sa isang parang alkansya and then yung fund manager ay invest siya sa iba't ibang uri ng assets. Yun lang naman, ganun siya kasimple. And then, the company issues shares or units to the investors to represent their investments. No? So, like example, sa stocks, di ba, pag nag-invest ka doon, stocks ang bibigay sa'yo. Pero dito sa mutual funds, it is actually represented with shares or units. What are the different types of mutual funds? So there are actually a lot of mutual funds in different aspects, different goals, and different strategies. But I would just like to discuss the four general major types of mutual funds. In my current company, we actually have 15. But uh, since this is for general purposes, I would just like to discuss the four types and I will discuss it based on the super conservative first up to the most aggressive. Money market fund invests in short term debt or fixed income assets like time deposits. So, ito po yung amin mga time deposit, ang money market, but it can actually earn a lot more than time deposit. Next naman is the bond fund. The bond fund invests in long-term debts or fixed income securities from government and corporations. The third type is actually the balance fund. The balance fund is a mixture of the bond fund and also the equity fund. It is actually our hybrid fund when you're in a moderate or uh, moderate type of investor, you can actually invest in balance fund. Uh, the fourth type of fund is the equity fund or the stock index fund. This is actually ownership in the different companies that this fund will be investing. No? So, san ba, sa, san ba sila nag invest Of course, sa so blue chip companies like SM, Ayala, DMCI, um, Globe, PLDT, and so on. So, yun yung mga blue chip companies all over the Philippines na kahit 5,000 mo, you can actually own 40 different companies already. Actually, kahit nga yung uh, 1,000 pesos mo, ba? So, this one, we mix the stock market. No? So, ang kagandahan lang dito, meron kang fund manager to manage the funds for you. So, I hope you understand all the four types of funds in the mutual fund and let's go ahead with the next topic. So, ang karaniwan na tanong naman ng mga kliyente ko, Claire, ano ba talaga ang pinakamagandang mutual fund type para sa akin? ba? So, yun talagang gusto natin malaman, Claire, ano ba talaga ang pinakamaganda? Saan ba dapat ako mag-invest? So, I will show you which type of investment fund is the best for you. Unang-una, kailangan mo muna talaga malaman kung ano yung goal mo. ba? Goals. Yan talaga tayo eh. Uh, ano na tayo? Adulting goals. ba? So, um, ano pa talaga ang goal mo sa pera mo? Is it capital preservation or is it capital growth? Diba? So, yun, dalawa lang yun eh. If, gusto mo ba i-preserve yung pera mo from inflation rate? Or gusto mo ba uh, lumaki siya ng lumaki ng lumaki? Diba? So, yun. So, yun yung ano. Yun yung two types of goals. No? 
So if capital preservation ang napili mong goal, go ahead with conservative type of funds like money market and bonds, diba? But if capital appreciation or capital growth ang napili mo, go ahead with aggressive funds, no? So those are the two types of funds that you can actually consider based on those two goals. Another type of goal setting naman is um, the length, diba? So you have to consider the length na kakailanganin mo yung fund mo. So, is it for a retirement fund ba yan? Is it for educational fund ba yan? Is it for building your dream house? Or for milestones? So, ano ba yung mga milestones na yon? Like, example, gustong, gustong gusto mo nang umuwi ng Pinas. Kung OFW ka, gustong gusto mo nang umuwi ng Pinas, that is your fun na gagastusin mo to be for good dito sa Pinas, ba? Or another one naman, gustong gusto mag-travel around the world. So that is actually possible in five years time, gusto mag-travel around the world. You can actually put your savings there, some mutual funds, and then preserve mo pa siya. Or you're going to let it grow, ba? So yun yun yung mga, ano, yun yung mga goals din na kailangan natin i-consider. So the longer you need the money, like example, 25 years from now or 30 years from now, aggressive funds are actually one of the best choices. Kasi the length lessens is risk, diba? But if mas kailangan mo siya in a shorter span of period, you go ahead with uh, more conservative funds like bonds or money market. Kasi um, very, very volatile yung ating economy. Like now, diba, nasa crisis tayo, we're, we're still quarantined and COVID, very, very volatile. No? So it's very, very, pagkailangan na siya in the next one, lalo na kung one year, diba, go ahead with um, with the very, very conservative funds muna. Yeah. Okay, so it's also good to consider the time horizon. Kasi bakit? Um, investing in mutual funds is actually not good for putting your emergency fund there, no? I highly discourage putting your emergency fund there because baka kasi kailanganin mo siya, nag-negative yung market, di ba? Unless ilagay mo siya sa money market fund, no? Which is actually very, very good then. Yun nga lang, of course, hindi natin masabi eh. It might go negative when you really needed the fund most. So, I highly discourage putting your emergency fund in mutual funds. Okay? So, again, time horizon is one of the, the uh, key strategy that you can use to know which fund is the best for you. The shorter the time, the more conservative you should uh, put it, and the longer the time, the more aggressive that you need to put your funds, okay? And next naman to consider in choosing the type of mutual funds that you need to invest in is your current financial situation. Yes! You heard that right, guys. Ano ba talaga ang financial situation mo ngayon, di ba? So, will this investment supplement your current income? If yes, you need to put it in a very conservative fund, no? Kasi, hindi to instant money, guys. Kasi, if you need instant money ka agad at yun lang inaasahan mo, mutual fund, tapos ilalagay mo siya sa equity fund, o paano pag nag-negative siya, di ba? So, in short, yung funds na ilalagay mo dapat dito, does not support your current income. Okay? Talagang extra money lang. And then, if your financial situation can meet emergencies without withdrawing from your investment in the mutual fund, then go ahead with the aggressive fund. Kasi, hindi mo siya igagalawin, di ba? Again, guys, yung key dito, when investing in mutual funds, dapat yung fund na, o kaya yung pera na ilalagay mo doon ay hindi, hindi, hindi mo gagalawin. Kasi, what's the purpose? Kung mayat maya mo naman siya gagalawin, edi ilagay mo na lang siya sa banko, di ba? Ayun lang. So, marami na ako nasabing tips regarding what to consider when choosing the best type of investment fund for you. But since to make your life easier, just click down on the link below at sagutan mo lang ang personality risk profile test so that you will determine kung ikaw ba ay conservative type of investor, moderate type of investor, or aggressive type of investor. At kapag nalaman mo na kung ikaw ay anong ta type of investor, uh, nakalagay din doon kung anong fund is best for you. No? So, 
click on the link below and then sagutan nyo lang there's no right or wrong ano sa tingin nyo situation na pinaka applicable sa inyo yun yung sagutin nyo so what are the pros and cons in investing in mutual funds so i'm going to be outright blunt in uh, giving you all these pros and cons so wala pong sugar coating guys because i want you to create or have your own in intelligent decisions when investing in mutual funds first and foremost the number one pro in investing or the number one advantage in investing in mutual funds is you have your own fund manager in short hindi mo na kailangan problemahin ang ilalagay mong pera kasi meron ng tao ng problema para sa iyo kung saan niya siya i-invest di ba like example, let me give you an example. Kung ikaw ay may 100,000 pesos na pera ngayon, tapos gusto mong pa-opera ng muka, di ba? Saan mo gusto magpa-opera? Sa isang professional na doktor na marami ng resulta or sa isang newbie na ngayon pa lang nagsisimula mag-aral? Okay, di ba? So, Alam, siguro naman, nasagot nyo na. Siyempre, dun sa professional. So, if you're a first-time investor, mutual fund is actually one of the perfect platform for you. Kasi hindi mo na kailangan siyang alalahan, hindi mo na kailangan siyang problemahin. It's very, very easy to use. Diba? Kasi, yun nga, you have your own fund manager to manage your funds for you. So, kung busy ka din na tao, wala ka ng oras, mag aral sa kung ano-anong pag-trading ng stocks, etc., this is the perfect platform for you. I actually invest most of my money in mutual funds kasi I'm a very, very busy person then. But I love educating people. That's why I'm doing this. Now, advantage number two, you actually have a wide range of portfolios. As in, kahit sa halagang 1,000 pesos mo, or 5,000 pesos mo, you can invest in 40 different companies. Unlike kasi sa, ano, sa pure stocks mo siya invest, I'm also a stock trader, uh, yung 5,000 pesos mo, or let's say yung 1,000 pesos mo, uh, malamang yan, baka mga um, few stocks lang ang mabili mo, tapos baka isang company lang, ba? Kasi meron silang cap, lalo na kung mamahalin na stock siya, ba? Kasi meron mga stocks goes goes as high as 1,500 per stock to 3,000 pesos per stock. Pero dahil 1,000 lang ang pera mo, yung maliliit at saka mumurahin lang mabibili mo. So, unlike dito, kahit 1,000 pesos lang ang pera mo, dahil pooled funds siya, you have the advantage to buy a lot of stocks in just one mutual fund account. Diba? So that's the biggest advantage. The more portfolio that you have, the more baskets that you put your money into it, kahit malaglag yung isang basket, diba? so kahit malaglag siya, uh, hindi, mayroon ka pang 39 other baskets na hindi malulugi and that can outweigh the risk na nalugi na isa. So in short guys, uh, it's better to invest in a, a wide range of baskets and the mutual fund can actually give that to you as an advantage. And number three, it is not time consuming. Yes, that is true. Para sa mga busy na tao katulad natin guys, investing in the mutual fund is not time consuming. You can actually open a mutual fund account right now in just five minutes i will link down the other video below on how to open a mutual fund account but i'm not going to include this in this video because this is some this is for a different topic no? so yeah um it is not time consuming even uh, reinvesting it's very very ano, convenient talaga pag meron kang online bank online or online banking it is very very convenient not less than 5 minutes tapos ka na, ba? So yun, so yun yung ano, yun yung nagustuhan ko in investing in mutual funds. Very, very time sufficient. Yan. Number 4 is very, very cheap. No, So the advantage of investing in a mutual fund is actually very, very cheap. Hindi to pang akala nyo ang pag invest ay para sa mayayaman na tao. Pero hindi, hindi actually. Everyone can invest as low as, drum roll, 
actually as low as 100 pesos. Pwede pwede ka na mag-invest sa mutual funds through the money market. So, click down the link below to know how to open a mutual fund account na 100 pesos lang, no? But, uh, yung mga premium accounts namin like bonds, balance, equity, and index stock fund are actually worth 1,000 pesos to open an account. So, ganun lang, ba? Kung may 1,000 pesos ka na, o kaya kung may 100 pesos ka na, pwedeng-pwede ka na mag-open ng investment account mo. Tsaka yung buong halaga na yun ay i-invest sa 40 different companies o kaya sa uh, fixed income securities like bonds, ba? So, ang ganda, ang ganda ng opportunity na to. How I wish I knew about this when I was 21 years old. Pero guys, this is the best time talaga to invest, okay? So, it's very, very cheap and very, very affordable. And there's no monthly, quarterly, or annually terms Mag-invest ka lang kung kailan mong gusto. Mag-invest ka lang pag may bonus ka. Mag-invest ka kapag may extra money ka. ba Like what I mentioned, pang extra money lang siya. Hindi ito pwede pang emergency fund. Okay? You have to build your own emergency fund. So, again, unlike dito sa mutual fund, there's no commitment to be honest. no Wala siyang monthly, walang quarterly, walang annually. You can put money there as you wish. No, yun, yun yung kagandahan. Pero ako kasi, naka-automatic investment ako. Kasi gusto ko, hassle-free. Kaya naka-automatic investment ako. Automatically, dinededuct na sa payroll ko or sa salary ko, yung investment ko going there. Kasi, gusto, tulad nga sinabi ko sa inyo, I'm a very basic person at I want it hassle-free. No? And the number five is liquidity. You can easily add funds in your investment account or you can easily withdraw funds. No? So, in short, guys, anytime pwede nyo withdraw hin, anytime pwede nyo dagdagan. But you also have to know that there's front end and there is back end. Uh, sales load options. So, front end, ibig sabihin on, kakaltasan na nila ng mga five to 3% ang iyong uh, unang pinasok na pera. Tapos, pwede mo siyang withdrawin anytime. Samantalang ang back end, uh, naka-hold siya ng 5 years. No? Kung hindi, kung withdrawin mo siya before 5 years, meron 5%, 4%, 3%, 2%, 2%, or 1% na na a lot every year kung kailan mo siya withdrawin. So, example, nilock mo siya for 5 years, eh, nilock, example, nilock mo siya this year for 5 years, tapos, the following year, nagkaroon ng emergency, kinailangan mo withdrawin lahat, so, ang kakaltasin sa funds mo, totally, is 4%. Kasi, yun yung, uh, parang yun yung ano, parang penalty, ang tawag doon, for withdrawing at a very early, uh, early time, ba So, so, yun yung masasabi ko. So, if ever, you have two options, withdrawable anytime, which is front end, and then withdrawable after five years, which is back end. Okay? So, yeah. And also, ang kagandahan dito sa pag-invest ng mutual funds, comparing to the stock market, uh, um, yung direct ka mag-invest mag sa stocks, is... Nung first time ako nag-invest sa stock market on my own sa halagang 20,000 pesos, it took me around 5 days bago ako nakabili ng stocks na gusto ko. Kasi nga, walang gustong magbenta ng stocks na yun, ba? So, wala akong mabili na stocks. So, hindi siya automatic na pupunta sa ano mo, basta mo lang ilagay yung pera mo doon. Hindi siya automatic. Pero dito, pag ikaw nag-invest ng mutual funds, you can withdraw easily. And then you can withdraw, uh, you can add funds automatically. Kasi nga, um, the company itself will buy or will sell the shares on your behalf. And then my last advantage tip on investing in mutual fund is it has a potential of giving you higher returns than time deposits. Diba? So, 
Kung meron kang pera sa time deposit mo that is meant for a very, very long time, why not invest it in mutual funds and potentially have higher returns than other investment vehicle? Sabi nga nila, di ba, sa stocks daw, mas malaki daw yung returns doon. That is true if you are well knowledgeable and you have a lot of experience in trading but it is not true when you're just a beginner and when you're just trying a lot of things on trading so um if you are a beginner investing in mutual fund is actually the best option it's because um yun nga, you have a fund manager on that no so i highly highly recommend mutual funds to everybody who is a a beginner in investing and also who is a very very busy professional no okay so nabigay ko na sa inyo lahat ng advantages or lahat ng pros ngayon naman i will give you all the cons no so ano ba yung mga cons or disadvantages in investing in mutual funds unang una na nakita kong disadvantage is you have no control in which company you will invest. Diba? Yun lang. No control. Kasi nga, you have a fund manager investing for you. And is managing your funds or your investment for you. But, ang kagandahan nito, syempre, mas knowledgeable si fund manager kaysa sayo. At saka, 24-7 siya nakamonitor sa investment mo. Diba? So, yun yung ano, yun yung uh, may medyo may pagka disadvantage you have no control minsan pag bumaba yung Jollibee gustong gusto mo nang bilhin yung Jollibee pero dahil wala kang control na i-switch dun sa lahat ng funds may switch mo sa Jollibee it's because yun nga you have a fund manager and you just have to accept the fact and trust in the company that you've invested in na sila nang bahala sa investments mo second naman is it has risks. Yes, you heard that right. Like any other investments, lahat ng ito, kahit super conservative pa yan, lahat yan may risk and may possibility mag-negative. No? So, kapag nag-negative siya, just stay the course. No? Huwag niyo basta-basta withdrawin kapag nag-negative siya. Parang dollar, di ba? Example, meron kang one dollar sa iyong bulsa. Di ba? Example lang yun, ha? So, kung may one dollar ka sa iyong bulsa, tapos gusto mo na siya papalitan yung one dollar mo. Pumunta ka doon sa money changer. Di ba? Tapos, sabi ng money changer, Ma'am, 25 pesos per dollar po yung palitan ngayon. Ikaw ba, uh, pawapaltan mo ba yung $1 mo sa 25 pesos? Di ba hindi? Kasi lugi ka kapag pinapaltan mo sa 25 pesos per dollar. Eh alam mo naman, tataas din siya to 50 pesos. So in short, antayin lang natin maging 50 pesos ulit per dollar bago natin papalitan yung $1 natin. So same lang dito sa mutual funds. No? If your share prices becomes negative, it's just paper loss. No? Huwag mo na lang withdrawin para hindi ka lalong malugi. So just stay the course kahit mag-negative siya. It's okay, it's paper loss. Pag withdraw mo siya, lalo ka talaga malulug eh. So, yun lang yung mga, ano, yung mga tips ko, no? And then, the third cons is, this is not an instant income, no? Ang pag-invest sa mutual funds, hindi mo talaga maaasahan siya maging instant income mo or instant return of investment, no? Unlike pag ikaw yung nag-invest sa isang business, di ba? magkakaroon ka na kaagad ng income doon sa business na yun as long as profitable yung business. Pero dito sa mutual funds, you really need to keep it longer. As in super super long. The longer the better. ba Para ma-maximize mo yung earning potential ng pera mo, you have to uh, hold it for as long as you can. no So again guys, this is not an instant income or rich quick kagad ang pag invest sa mutual fund. This is like any other investment instruments. These mutual funds are actually best when we hold it in long term. Especially when uh, we buy very, very aggressive funds like equity funds or stock index funds. Uh, this is not for short term and the investment returns are not guaranteed. So guys, 
uh, wag po basta-basta din mag-invest pag hindi niya din po masyadong alam yung kung saan niyo po gusto talaga siya ilagay. No? And hindi po ito pang mabilisan. This is for long term. Na pinakita ko sa inyo in investing in mutual funds. Sa tingin nyo, bagay na ba sa inyo ang pag-invest sa mutual funds? Uh, there's just one thing that I would like to share. Lahat naman ng bagay, lahat ng investments, mapa-asset man yan, mapa-hard asset, mapa-liquid asset man yan, lahat yan comes with a risk. And it's the risk you do not take that you will regret pag tumanda ka or kapag pinagpalipas mo pa yung panahon, di ba? Kasi lahat ng opportunities na dadating sa'yo ay para kang naglalakad sa river, di ba? Lahat ng tubig na dumaan sa paa mo, you, it's not the same water na dumaan sa paa mo. So, yung opportunities may pass. So, if you don't take or grab the opportunities, you will eventually be left out. No? So, take the risk, sabi nga, and start investing. No? So, if ever na convince ko kayo mag-invest, just click the link below on how to open your mutual fund account or contact your most trusted advisor. And that is all, guys. Please subscribe and like this video and also comment on what are the things that you realize upon watching this video. Yun. So, again guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to post a lot more regarding mutual funds, regarding stocks, regarding real estate investing, regarding forex and all the VUL funds, the life insurance investing. So, lahat yan ipopost ko dito sa Peso Point vlog ko. So, please subscribe so that hindi mo mamimiss yung mga vlogs na yun. So, again guys, thank you so much and have a good day!